Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Julie, also known as Mrs England's Emporium, and I am a reseller. So that means basically I sell anything I get my hands on, mainly all this stuff here. <laughs> anyway, um, this is my vlog, daily vlog. I'm going to let you know, as always, what I am up to today. So I've got quite a few sales to show you, so bear with me on that one um and yeah we'll get into it so if you enjoy the video please consider giving me a big thumbs up it really helps me out like subscribe hit the bell for regular notifications and if you want to support me further you can buy me a coffee the link is in the description there are super thanks and you can also buy something from my shop and leave a message and i will give you a shout out for that too <sighs> so yeah got quite a lot to show you today so we'd better get moving and get into it otherwise it's going to be a really long video <laughs> Okay, I have got some rechargeable batteries and I'm going to try out this fern and see whether it works or not. This is not the fern. This is the fern. It's a completely different fern to what's on the box. It's the Doro fern, which turns out to be better, I believe. So, yeah, I am going to pop some batteries into this. Apparently, these come already charged. <laughs> we'll see. Um, and I'm going to go plug this in and see if it actually works. Fingers crossed, people. I need all your positive energy and prayers coming my way right now to see <laughs> if this is actually going to work. OK, so after a lot of swearing, I've managed to sort it out. So, um, obviously, we have nowhere to put a fern. This is all Dexter's toys i want to say dexter's crap but that's really awful there's also some things to resell there as there is in most places in our house anyway i have plugged the fern in over here and plugged it into the electric over there and it appears to be working let's see you have no messages oh oh i have no messages let's see if we can actually get a down in tone Yep. Yeah. Don't know if you can hear that. It'd be there, won't it? Darling turn. Um yeah, it's all good. I don't think you can put this on loudspeaker. You probably can. You're probably all gonna yell at me and say, Julie, it's this button here. Here we go. Yeah. Oh. Please replace the handset and try again. <laughs> Please replace the handset and try again. I haven't heard that. For a very long time. Anyway, they lied about the batteries. Oh. Because it's charging now. And they weren't fully charged. They had a little bit of charge on them. I've got to just press this again. You have no messages. <laughs> That's a really funny voice. You have no messages. It's very abrupt, isn't it? You have no messages. Leave me alone. <laughs> anyway. Cut a long story short. It's working. Yay. So I will leave those batteries in there. Obviously, if this ends up going abroad, I won't be able to purse the batteries. I don't even think you're allowed to purse batteries in this country, are you? Um, I have pursed things with batteries in before, but I don't know that you're supposed to. Let me know in the comments, have I been naughty doing that? I don't think you're supposed to. I'm sure I've seen um, a video of batteries exploding on conveyor belts and things so probably not the best idea but you know if i can't purse them with i can't purse it with batteries in at least we know it's working so it's all good okay so i showed this in my last video and um, but it hadn't been paid for and now it has so this is a candy z top like a hiking walking jacket waterproof jacket pink and gray it's a really nice um size i think it is xl so there you go outdoor diamond candy fashion it's got a hood really nice nice warm jacket this has gone on an offer for 17 pounds plus per stage um sold pretty quick to be fair which again, I have to laugh because I was only saying not that long ago that walking jackets, hiking jackets, camping sort of gear does not go very well for me. And in the last day or so, I have sold two. I sold the regatta and now I've sold this one. 
Um, my more expensive ones are still hanging around, but I keep selling similar on them and hoping that they'll go. But yeah, can't grumble with that. £17 plus postage. I paid, I think it was £2 for this. So yeah, really cheap. Quick sale, very, very happy. I do think that the brighter colours do better in these sort of things, especially in women's. So keep an eye out for these sorts of jackets. Do your comps though, don't just go off what I say. Because sometimes it can be a fluky sale, sometimes, you know, the prices go up and down. So just check, double check everything and then you can't go wrong. Here's three of the sales that I've got to show you. So this one has gone for... 20 just over 26 pound plus postage and it's going gsp to spain i believe um this one well both of these monster high dolls are part of the big bundle i bought for 100 pound and yeah i've made my money back and profit over and over again so yeah so 26 for this one going to spain i got 13 pound for this one it's got a few accessories with it as is that one um yeah so these cost me pence and this um i bought this it's uh i think it's thun thun pottery or something worked out it was a napkin holder i believe and i paid i believe it was either two it was either three or four pound i can't remember anyway it's gone on an offer for 13 pound plus postage so not bad um I will have to do comps on this brand next time I pick it up because it's not amazing profit, but it is, it's profit nevertheless. And to be fair, it's gone within a month. These, um, I'm mopping up the last ones now of my Monster High dolls. I think I've only got about five left and a few accessories. That's it. Um, we gave the big castle to the local Dove House charity shop. And they sold that. I think they sold it for £15. I think that's how much they put it in on the in the window for. So yeah, that was good. Got it out of our house as well. Um yeah, so I haven't got many of these left. So I need to find some more really. I need to be on the lookout for Monster High. You don't really come across them, and if you do, they're usually quite high price. So to find a big bundle for the amount I did, I was extremely lucky and I've made a lot of profit on it. So it's definitely worth checking out bundles on Facebook Marketplace in your local areas and to see what you can find because you can make good money on them. So here's a memory test for me. So these are the other things that I've sold. Okay, so this has gone for £10.50. It's a, uh, I think it's Oh My Giggles Pony. I'm not going to turn it on because it does all these really annoying sounds. Um, Had it over a year, paid a pound and it's gone for, yeah, £10.50 all in. Um, This is another vintage jumper. Um, It's just like a little cropped, crocheted type jumper in red. Really nice. I don't think it's branded, um, but it's definitely not handmade either. This has gone for, I think it's £10.60 all in. So not bad with that. I've made my money back over and over and over again on this bundle. So really happy. This has gone for just over £12 all in. Um, I think I paid two for this about two months ago. These boards tend to do pretty well. They don't make massive money. Obviously, you've got to get them at the right price, but they do sell pretty quick. So not bad at all. Sold another light bulb. Um... This one has gone for just over £7 all in. Um, cost me 50 pence. I've had it about three months. These ballet shoes I got with part of a bundle. Um, these have gone for... I think these have gone for just over 7 as well all in. So not bad on those. They cost me about 50 pence. These jeans, um, they are... I'm not even going to pronounce that. Let's have a go. Claudie... Pierre lot <laughs> I don't know but anyway they're a size 38 um they're very yeah very small very skinny black jeans got this nice tag on the back as well and um, they've gone for 25 all in and this house of Fraser leather jacket which is medium nice brown cropped leather jacket real leather that has gone for just over 25 all in as well I've had this one probably about a month and a half 
the jeans i can't even remember when we bought these so i'm not even gonna lie to you and pretend i do because i just don't know but yeah that uh no, those are the sales i'm gonna parcel up now to get ready to take to the drop-off point so i hope all your sales are going well um it's been a good weekend i haven't done any filming over the weekend because it's been my son's birthday and we had a lovely party for him yesterday so that was cool he is now a big seven <laughs> So yeah, we've been really busy and I'm catching up today. So yeah, I'm going to get all these parceled up and we're going to drop them off. And then, yeah, I'll show you what else we get up to during the day. So not a bad weekend of sales there. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I've had to show you today, isn't it? I have got some stuff, what I bought from the charity shop today. Just a couple of things, but I'll probably put that on tomorrow's video because... It's been a hectic one to say the least. We've had a lot going on today, so um I'm really out of breath. I've just ran up the stairs. I ain't got anything wrong with my lungs or out like that. I just can't breathe. <laughs> um yeah, I just ran up the stairs to do the video. So, um yeah, I had a question about whether I use Royal Mail Tract 48 on um any of my parcels. So I tend to if my customer doesn't pick every, I buy the labels on eBay and eBay then take all of the information out of the listing and put it onto the tracking. Um, so you get the tracking on the listing and the customer's details all goes onto the um, tracking as well. So they get updates on delivery times and, you know, where it is and all that sort of thing when it's been picked up, blah, blah, blah. And I find it works pretty well. I do sometimes get it collected. Most of the time I drop it off. Um, I've heard that obviously you can get the labels brought to your house, which is really cool. But I don't tend to use that service because I get a bit confused with parcels and I don't want to be putting the labels on the wrong ones. It would take me ages at the door with the postman. So I tend to do the labels myself, which works really well. But yeah, I do get why people do that because at the end of the day, you're getting your label for free. So yeah, it works out better for some people. But for me, who I don't remember anything, <laughs> I'm so bad with my memory. I just think it's just easier for me if I just do it all and then they can take it, scan it, bye-bye, out of my hair. Um, yeah, so anyway, thank you for watching this video today. I know... Um, I know a lot of you come back every day and I really appreciate it. If you have watched to the end, I want you to write stitch. And that's as in like a stitch of a thread. Sewing type stitch. If you don't know who he is. In the comments, my daughter painted him by the way. And he's on my wall. He's fantastic. Um, yeah, so write stitch in the comments if you've watched to the end. And I will see you on the next one. Take care. Be kind, stay safe and all that jazz. I'll see you soon. Ta-ta.